Hello, are you excited? I am excited. I've checked out Bun. I've created an introduction video about it in the previous video. And today I'm excited. I'm really excited to create a new project using Bun. Okay, so I've prepared a folder, Bun Demo. So let's go and create a new folder. Let's say mkdir and let's say Bun to do. Okay, so let's go to our Bun to do. In order to initialize a project, you need to make sure you have Bun installed. So if you want to install Bun, copy this and run in the terminal and by now you should have bun installs and you can say bun dash dash version and then i have version 1.0 installed and you should have it installed too cool so now let's initialize our bun project so we can say bun and we can say init cool so when i say bun init the name will be bun to do and the entry point will be basically since i'm creating a to do app it will be a front end application so i can say index.tsx so now bun has created a few files for us it has created index.tsx .gitignore tsconfig.json and readme so let's open this code so we have opened our vs code okay so you can see bun has added few files for us so it has tsconfig.json so this will be a configuration for our typescript and it has created a readme for us so it says bun install and we run bun run index.tsx and we have this package.json and here we have name, module, type, and the dependencies and peer dependencies, right? And then we have our index.tsx file. And if you see, we have here bun.logb. So it's in binary form. And this is similar to what we have in yarn.log or package.json.log. And we have this gitignore. Okay. So before we start, so let's add our script here. So you can say scripts and we'll say start or we can say dev because I want to run in my dev. So here we could simply say bun dash dash hot run index dot tsx. So what I mean from here is if you can see our readme.md, so it's a bun run index dot tsx, right? But I want to make changes frequently in here while creating a to do application. So that's the reason I've added our dev, which will basically bun dash dash hot. So this will be hot reload and it will run our index dot tsx. Okay. So before that, since I'm going to create a to do application, so I want a front end part. So let's create a HTML. So I can say index.html. Okay. So let's create a HTML file quickly. So I can say HTML5. Okay. And now here I can give a title. We can say bun to do. And here let's add a few dependencies because I'm going to use HTMX and Pico. So HTMX is a HTML Ajax as HTML and we have Pico. So let me quickly copy and paste that part. Okay, so I've added HTMX and I've added HyperScript, which is required for this HTMX to be run. And also I've added this HTMX JSON encoding because it requires the JSON encoding. And also I've added this Pico, which is a very minimal CSS framework for semantic HTML. Okay, so part this is my HTML. And also inside my body, let me create an header. So I can say header and i want to give this an h group and let me add an h1 so i'll say bun 1.0 demo and let me add another h2 so let me quickly just paste this so title by learn with Pratap, right and since i'm using pico i want to start by default with a light theme i can say data dash theme and i can say light or dark light so i can use light and I've added my header. Now it's time to add our main class, right? So I'll say main. So this is my main component. So let me add a class here. So I can say class and this will be a container. Okay. And let me add this in my header as well. Okay. So I will be rendering my to do component inside this. So for simplicity, let me create a form. So I can say form. And then let me copy paste my form component. So I can say I have a label which is bun to do and I have an input which is a name of to do and it will be of type text and the label should be created to do and the placeholder will be new bun to do. I can say create bun to do right. Okay. So basically this is my form element. Okay. And also let me add section where I will list all my to do's. So I can say section. So let me give this an ID of to do's. Okay, so now this is my input. I will be taking this input from here. So let me just save this and let me go to my index.tsx. So now it's final time to create our server. Okay, so to create a server, it's pretty simple. So I can say 
bun dot serve so i can use this serve and here i can start by my host name so my host name will be basically localhost and then my port will be running on 3000 i want to run my content in a 3000 port and i need to have a fetch basically this will be a handler okay so i can say fetch handler cool so basically fetch is a function it, it takes a function let me create a function i'm gonna say function fetch handler so this will give me a request of type request and it'll have a response return type of response okay so since i need a response so i can simply say so let me simply return a new response and i will return the index.html file so for that i need to say bun dot file and here i can say index dot html cool okay so far i've added a script here i've created a new index.html and i've added html files here and also i've created my server right so now i think it's time to run our server so let me open my terminal okay so i think this is quite good and now since i've added my script in this package or json so i can simply say bun run dev so now it's running using our hot reload index.tsx right so let me go to my browser and let me go to my local host 3000 so now we have our to do but nothing is working yet because if i do anything nothing will work okay so let's start by creating a route so this should be pretty simple so let's handle a route and first of all let's create an empty to do here we'll say const to do's is equal to an empty list and also let's create a type and we can say to do it will have an id of number and a name of type string okay and my to do's will be basically list of to do's good so first of all let's handle our endpoint so i want to return my index.html only when i have a home endpoint right but for that i can say const url equal to new url and i need to pass my request dot url okay so here i can say if url dot path name is equal to an empty string or url dot path name is equal to slash so in that case i want to return my index dot html okay if it doesn't match this path so i can simply say return new response and here i can say a message so a message will be basically not found and i can provide status of 404 okay if it's my home slash or empty string so in that case i'm returning my index.html otherwise i'm saying not found right so let me go back to my index.html and i want to fetch my section to do's on load right so for this i can say hx dot get is equal to slash to do's and i want to trigger this only on load so i can say hx dash trigger is equal to load so let me save this and let me go back to my browser let me open my inspect and also let me open my network so you see it's loading my to do's if i go to my header it's a get method right so i want to return my to do's okay before we move on i will need to use react so before i continue so let me add few dependencies so i can say burn add dash d so i'll be adding a dev dependencies so let me simply copy and paste this okay so i'm adding a react react dom and their types okay it has installed and it's pretty fast and let me run my burn again okay so now i've added my react so let me create a component here so let me say function to do list so this will take a props so i'm creating a react component and it will take a props of to do's and it will be basically of our to do list okay and here i can check my to do list okay so let me return an ul here let me return order list and i can say ul i can look through my props right so i can say props dot to do's dot so let me check my length if the length is greater than zero then in case i can say props dot to do's dot map and let me return a list so i can say to do and i can return my li right and this will be basically to do dot name 
if my to do is empty in that case i can return a string which says no to do found cool so it doesn't get this react so now let's handle our get so if you remember when we try to get our to do's it throws an exception of not found right so let's handle our to do's so i can say if url dot path name is equal to slash to do's and request dot method is equal to get then in that case i want to return a new response and now i want to return this react component so for that i need to import a render to string from my react dom so i can say import from react dom slash server and i can use my render to string okay so with that you can see our error is also gone so now here i can say render to string and now i can render my component so i can say to do list and you can see it requires a to do's so i have an empty to do's here so let me return my to do's equal to to do's cool right if you check our terminal we doesn't really understand if it's running or not right so let me add a console here so before that let me assign this to a variable so i can say const server equal to bun.serve and now i can say console.log and bun to do running on so i can say server dot host name and i can say server dot port so we can see that our server is running right so now we have our to do's so let me go back to my browser and let me refresh let me clean this and let me refresh again so now you can see we don't have any to do so it said no to do's found right so let's go back to our application so now i want to handle my form right i want to add a new to do whenever i submit my to do right so for that let me update my form element so basically i need to handle this so i can say hx dash post so i will handle this in the same endpoint so i will say to do's i can say the target would be let's say hx dash target so let me add a hash to do and i want the form element to be a json encoding so for that i can say hx dash ext equal to so i want to have a json encoding so i can say json dash enc okay and i can add an underscore which will basically so this should run only on submit so i can say on submit okay so on submit i want my form element to be reset so i can say target dot reset okay what i mean here is so whenever i submit my form i want it to post in this to do's and i want the field to be as a json encoding and i want my target to be reset typo here it should be reset okay so let me go back to my browser and let me refresh and let me add a new to do so i can say test bun let me go my to do you can see here so i'm sending the body as a json so this is because of our json encoding i think it's time to handle our to do's so i'm getting my payload right so let's go back to our application and let's go back to our index.tx so i think it's time to handle our post right let me verify once so this is a post method so i need to handle the post endpoint so let me simply copy this so it should be pretty same and instead of get it should be post now okay but this will be a bit different so i want to create i want to add an entry to my to do's list right so for that i need to grab the to do from my request okay so that's pretty simple so i can say const i will get my to do from where i will get from my request dot json but if you see my json is basically a promise so i need to await but i cannot await because this is not my async function i need to convert this to my async function and since i convert this to an async function i need to change my return type so this will be of type promise okay so now i can handle the request right so let me grab my to do so if you remember from my post payload you can see that i've get this from my to do right so the key is to do 
So let me grab that to do. Okay. And let me add this to do in my to do. So it should be simple. I will say to do's dot push and I need the ID. So the ID will be specifically, I will increment the to do's length dot length by one. Okay. And also I need a name. So that will be basically a to do. Okay. And after I add this to do's, I want to render my to do list again. So let's go back to our application. So let me refresh. So we don't have any to do's right now. Let me clean my console as well. And now I want to add my new to do. So it should be go to office. So I have a new to do, right? And also let me add another to do, which will be basically shut down. Cool. So this is a very minimal application. But if you see here, I get an exception or a warning here. It says that each child in a list should have a unique key prop. Okay, so let me add a key here. So this is an issue with our React. So here I can say to do and let me add the ID. So sorry, it should be dollar and it will be to do dot ID. And now the error should be gone. So let me refresh. So let me go back to my console. Cool. And let me add a new to do. I'll say test one. Let me add another as well. Test two. Let me go back to my console. Okay. Wonderful. Right. So this is amazing. So this is a minimal to do application. So in the next video, I'll try to implement deletion of this, edition of this, and also I'll try to use our SQLite database. As you can see from our bun, we can use our bun SQLite, right? So I'll try to implement that in the next video. And also, if you like the video, please drop a like and show your support by subscribing my channel and also share this video to your friends. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one.